Okay, so uh, for number 12, this may be a tricky question, but we can reason through it. So it first asks us, how many corners does a cube have in four dimensions? Um, so let's construct a cube as we advance through dimensions. So we begin with a line that is in 2D. And this line, we can see here that it has two corners, right? So 1D, it has two corners. Then what about if we go to 2D? Well, in 2D, we're going to have a plane. And now this is going to have one, two, three, four corners. So 2D, we're going to have four corners. And then what about in 3D? So in 3D, we're going to be like here. And in this case, we're going to have one, two, three, four. And then we're going to have five, six, seven, eight. So 3D, we're going to have eight corners. So by the logic here, every time we gain a dimension, we are doubling, right, the amount of corners that we have. So we're going to say that in 4Ds, we're going to have four, uh, we're going to have, we're going to double eight, so we're going to have 16. So in 4D, we're going to have 16 corners. Because the pattern here is that they just keep doubling. Okay. Now it asks us, how many 3D faces does it have? Um, and so we're going to be in four dimensions, and we're looking for the pattern of the the number of um, objects in a lesser dimension, right? So um, this doesn't really make sense to think of in 1D, because less than 1D, we go to zero dimension, right? Um, so let's think in 2D. In 2D, we're going to have four lines, right, in the edges. So we're going to have one, two, three three, four. So in 2D, we're going to have, um, we're going to have here, let's see how many 3D faces. Yeah. So we're going to have four 1D objects. And then when we go, so in 2D, four 1D objects, as we're constructing our, um, as we're constructing our cube, right? And then we go now here to 3D. So if we go to 3D, now we're going to have, we're going to have one, two, three, um, one, two, three, four, five. That would be the further one. And then that would be, let's see, it would be six up here. So we're going to have six faces, right? So we have that in 3D, we're going to have um, six 2D objects. So look at the pattern here. In 2D, we have four 1D objects. In 3D, we have six. So we can see that we keep doubling, right? So the pattern would be that in 4D, we would have eight 3D objects. So we're gonna say that in 4D, we're gonna have eight 3D faces. Okay, so, and then lastly, it's asking us how many, um, how many edges? Okay, so once more, it doesn't really make sense to to think of an edge in one D. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, I'm going to go from one D to two D. Okay, so from one D to two D, I need to make a copy of it, right? So I double, and then I need to add two to connect them. So double plus two to connect. So if I go from 2D to, to um, 3D, I'm going to, actually in this case, I'm going to double my object. So my object here is a plane, right? So I'm going to double that plane. I'm going to make a copy of that plane here. And then I need to connect it, right? So then I need 1, 2, 3, 4. So double plus 4 to connect. So uh, from 2D to, sorry, from 3D to 4D, which you can think of it as being kind of like a hypercube that extends kind of like this. So drawing would be, um, yeah, it would be kind of crazy to draw, but you can think of it something like this. You can think that we're going to double and then double plus, we're going to four, and now we're going to need eight to connect, right? So it follows that pattern um, with edges. So let's see how many edges we have. 
So in from 1D, from 1D to 2D, we're going to have four edges. And then we're going to go from 2D to 3D. So we're going to here, we're going to double, right? We're going to double and then need four to connect. Oof, I drawn that terribly. Actually, that should have been... Let me improve my drawing. Okay. So here, how many edges do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then four to connect, right? Uh, nine, 10, 11, 12. So now I'm going to double 12, so I'm gonna do two times 12 plus eight to connect. So it's gonna give us 24 plus eight, which is 32. So in 4D, we're gonna need um, 32 edges. And that is it for number 12.